This week on Country Music Junkies, we are thrilled to have a country music singer-songwriter. His name is Devin Cates. Devin, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure to be on your show today. Awesome. Well, for those who aren't too familiar with Devin Cates, as you are a relatively new artist, can you kind of give us a little bit of your background and what you're all about? Uh, yes, I, I am a new artist. I am originally from a small town in western Kentucky called Cunningham. Uh, people don't know we exist over there. <laughs> uh, I lived that small town life, and I knew when I was young I had to get out, and then uh, I found my calling in music. And uh, I moved to Nashville a little over a year ago, and I uh, have really buckled down and began my journey as a new country artist in this town. And uh, it's been a cool adventure so far. You know, I, uh, I got to record my, my album here uh, with some great musicians. I worked with Rascal Flatts' uh, band on my uh, backtracking. It was fantastic. Wow. I uh, worked, with, worked with the Music Mafia and produced the album. And it was just a, it's been a very, very cool uh, adventure so far. And now I'm just working on getting my name out there and... Uh, uh, making my name uh, a staple in the country music industry. Well, there you go. Now, you mentioned you moved to Nashville a year ago. Is that when your career really began, or did it begin kind of before moving to Nashville? Well, I, uh, I, I've i been going at it since I was about 18. I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really know that I was an artist until I was about a senior in high school, and I started doing some things, and I started getting recognition from from uh, like radios, and, and I was doing all these little contests around my hometown, and and all of a sudden, things just started falling into my lap. I was blessed. I've, I've opened for John Michael Montgomery, Emerson Drive, Shelley Wright, wow. the Lone Star, the Charlie Daniels. And I, I've been very blessed in, uh, in, in the things I've been pursuing on my own so far. But, uh, you know, there's still more to do and there's still more to, to achieve. And I, I need to win my first Grammy. I need to win my first ACM <laughs> award. You know, that, that's that's my main mission now is to get get a higher level going here absolutely well you're off to a great start opening for very reputable bands like that what, what, what was that like tell us a little bit about some of the experiences working with uh, Emerson Drive opening for them Shelly Wright you mentioned John Michael Montgomery tell us about that a little bit it's uh that was definitely a very eye-opening experience for me when I was offered those opportunities to do that and when I was given the chance to it was like okay this means that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This means that, you know, I belong on this stage. And, yeah. and uh, to be able to, you know, walk out on stage and know that I'm sharing this stage with these very reputable bands, it's just like, you know, I, this, this is where it's at. This is what I've got to do in my <laughs> life. And so to be able to have, you know, people who don't even know me, you know, cheer for me after I get done singing. And I, I totally, yeah, Emerson Drive, for a good example, these kids at, at this big concert didn't know who I was. You know, I was just nobody coming in and, they, uh, after I was done with my set, man, it was so crazy getting all these pictures with these people and then buying my CD and, and it was like, it, you know, it just felt so, so amazing and, and to feel that is just something like I can't explain and that's why I, uh, I have to do this in my life. This is what I'm meant to do. Wow. Now tell us a little bit about your music specifically. You have an album, uh, You Get Me and <laughs> do you want to talk a little bit about that? I sure will. Uh, that that was the the album I was very blessed with. I was I was given this album actually. It was a it was a it was a gift from a producer and from my my family and and uh, the the music and the artists were all hand selected for me and I felt very blessed. Um, the music on the album is written by some of the top name writers in Nashville. They've written all the Rascal Flatts tunes, Martina McBride. Oh God. Uh, I mean, there's just it's just I was very very blessed to be doing this album and. Uh, uh, I'm very happy with it. I chose the songs that, that when I heard them, they they suited me. They, it's like it, it, bre it bred my life, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. one song on there I co-wrote with one of my friends, Lost in Your Eyes, was written by me and another friend. But I'm now in the process of, uh, of writing a new album. Since I, this, this the old album is something I was given, I want to create my own stuff now. And so it's a new project for coming up to and I'm really excited to see what comes out of that as well. Absolutely. Is there kind of a timeline put on that? Do you have any expectations as to when that'll be done? Uh, not, not a specific timeline. I'm right now. I'm in the creating process. I've got a few writers that I work with that we toss around ideas every once in a while. I, uh, I really am trying to teach myself better guitar skills as well because that will help me uh, in the long run. Absolutely. And so right now it's just it, it's a come and go process. I have a, a show or two that I want to play just to stay you know active in music. But right now I'm truly focused on uh, on writing and creating this new project. My album right now is you know is out there and uh, great music for my fans to listen to. And I, I'm just ready to to uh, get some more out there. 
So that's what I'm really focused on. Well, we look forward to hearing that. So now, you mentioned that you are going to maybe do a couple of shows, but really focus on building this new album. Uh, is there any way that people can find out where you're going to be and where, where you'll be performing? Absolutely. Uh, we have a website, DevonCates.com, is available. Uh, I'm pretty much the only Devin Cates out there, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, but we have updated posts from there, and uh, you can join me on Facebook at um, Facebook.com. That's Devin Cates Official. Um, please go there. I have a, you can you get a free download of my song Ta "Sounds Like Country" if you just go like my page. That's pretty uh, pretty awesome. And mm -hmm. uh, keep up to date. I, I'm trying to stay very good on Facebook and uh, and Twitter as well. And it's just at Devin Cates for Twitter. So uh, yeah, I've got all the stuff you need to, to be able to follow me and keep up with my uh, my shows coming up. I'm really looking forward to meeting some new people and and getting the music out there. Well, awesome, Devin. We wish you all the best of luck with that, and we look forward to hearing from you in the future and figure out where you're at, and we, we look forward to also hearing the new album. So good luck with everything, and thank you again so much for joining us today. Oh, I appreciate it. Y'all Y'all will be seeing me, and be sure you look for the new Josh Turner video. I, uh, I will be, you'll not see a familiar face in there. So oh, when good. the new Josh Turner video comes out, look for, look for your guy here in there. <laughs> Great, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Patrice. I appreciate you.